Welcome to Golden Artist Colors. I'm Patty Brady. Today I'm going to show you a very simple mono printing process. Typically in professional grade print studios, expensive presses, technical expertise, and oil-based inks are necessary. Also the use of mineral spirits, but today we're going to use an acrylic called Open for mono printing. Open stays wet for an extended period of time, allowing us to work in very thin layers on our plate. Also, it's great for water cleanup, which allows us to be able to use this in our own studio without expensive equipment. I've begun by using a piece of freezer paper and taping it down to the table. I've made registration marks. Outside corners are for the placement of my paper, inside for the placement of the plate. And this is really important when you want to do multiple color passes. Now I'm going to take my printmaking paper, lay it down inside the registration marks and tape it with a low tack tape on one side, creating a hinge. Now I'm going to roll up the open. This is the manganese blue. I'm just going to squeeze it out on a high density polyethylene plate and use my roller to roll it out into a thin, even surface. Then. I'm going to take my plate and apply the open directly to the plate. Now I'm going to use several different tools for subtractive processes on this plate. Now I'm going to take my plate, put it in the registration marks, flip my paper over, and rub the back side of my paper. Okay, so now I'm going to do a second plate. I'm going to actually paint, use the brush to add color directly to the plate. So now I'm gonna take our second plate, place it back inside the registration marks, flip our paper down, Apply pressure again, and now we have a two-pass print. One variation is to take the plate and paint it. I used diarolide yellow for this one. It's dry now, and I'm going to roll it up with carbon black open. We're going to do a different kind of subtractive surface. I'm going to put this plate under the paper, and I'm going to subtract by drawing on the back of the paper. And now you can see that we've created a print in the reverse. We still have remaining paint on our panel. When this paint dries on the panel, we can now continue to create a painting. There are unlimited ways to use this technique, and I'm hoping we have encouraged you to try some of these things at home. 